Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a simple school newsletter from your phone through Canva and I'll be right back with all the steps. Welcome. Welcome back. So let's go to our workspace as we start the exploration right away. As we all know, the um, application to use for this is called Canva. So how do we um, create this? It's very simple. And I'm very sure that you have your content down before you think of creating um, a newsletter for your school. So um, this is my Canva. I click on my Canva, then my Canva will load out. Let me go back. So starting from the beginning, this is my Canva. So I'm going to click on the plus button. So when I click on the plus button, I'm going to look for um, blog graphics or I will look for invitation portraits. They are almost the same thing, announcements or flyer. So any of those ones, they are fine. So I'm going to be using this. Remember, you need to get your concept ready first before you create your newsletter. So what I'm going to be doing now is to first click on the um, plus sign. Then I'm going to be going to illustration. When I get to illustration, I'm going to click on um, shape. Shapes or shape. Um, the, the first thing I'm going to do. So I already have, um, I already have kind of design i want to read for my imagination i'm looking at the kind of yellow i'm going to be creating i want to make sure not too bright and not too dark okay so i'm going to bring in another shape again maybe this time i'll go for gradient Gradient, um, um, I like this line. So to brighten it up, I'll be using this. Then after that, I'll be bringing more shapes. Um, oops. I'll be bringing shapes. Look, okay, I'm on templates. Um, we'll be using shape with blur with um, round edges so um, I'll be creating different four columns and um, I'll click over here to duplicate duplicate before I duplicate let me first um, create a kind of transparency around it I want to make it transparent click on this um, button over here then you will see opacity is the symbol over here when you click on it then from there you can make it transparent so transparent like this now i'm going to make it blue that means it's not that very transparent this is fine then from here right now i double click or make this yellow double click i'll make this um, This is going to be smaller then i'll make this um what color green yep so from here right now i'm going to look for a catchy picture to get the, this the children's mind or to make it child friendly so i'll go to illustration and go and look for children at the front of Boss. Okay, um, not really seeing what I want. This is popular. I don't really want to use this. So oh, it's looking good. Let me see whether I can get more. children at school uh, 
um, a lot of illustration for students at school so um, i'm going to leave it like this i think this is not bad so i'll be looking for back to school or welcome back to school so i've actually seen one let me search first welcome back to school Welcome back to school. So they are going to give me a lot of a lot of uh, write up of welcome back to school or back to school. You know the one you want to use. Just um, I already saw someone. Let me, let me click on back. Yes, this is the one I actually like. The back to school again then i think i saw another one that actually looks nice that looks nicer let me see what i can say explore more so you need to take your time as much as possible look for a lot of ideas over here this will make your work look very good some of this design here will make your work look very good i've used something like this before during the poster design so um nope not that can't really compete just that i don't like this blue so i'll change this blue to see clashing 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 yep. no i like the previous color is good it's fine then the logo of the school i bring the logo of the school this is the logo of the school or oh, any other thing you want to use so um what am i going to be adding important events Important events capital letter then change it to nice ones child friendly ones and use that font here okay and it's him then I'm going to make it this blue Yep. then duplicate here i'm going to name this part um this week duplicate again then promote your let me try to this promote your club so anything you want to write here you can just add it then with that you will be able to you can be sending them digitally you can be sending newsletter almost every week or if possible every month newsletter so far you have canva that can be very possible so canva will make it um, very simple for you just get all your information down we get all the information down sure with canva everything is Fine. So, um, get your newsletter ready with Canva. Let me duplicate this. Then I will just add the information of the school below it. So, this is nice, nice, straightforward. It's just that this yellow is dark. Uh huh. I think it's better for me to just use bright color because it is for school, and school need bright color. Yep. So give this a try. There's a lot of information needed here. So I'm going to be add, I'm adding um, the important event, this week activity, and any other event I want to have. I'm just going to add them. If it is my school, 
um, there are also different um, ideas that you can actually use. Um, some school, they may write there. Um, different ideas, different ideas. Just explore the kind of newsletter you want to create first. Then after that, from there, you can now think of any other thing. So, thank you very much. I really appreciate the time spent with me. I'll be right back with more, more video on how to use Canva. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.